Water meters at the Hamlet Housing Authority and the charging of water rates were again addressed at the monthly budget meeting of the Hamlet City Council. City Manager Matthew Christian reported that progress has been made since its previous report at the March 28th budget meeting. Christian said they have already started to obtain the consumption data. Councilman Jesse McQueen expressed concern about completing the install of the updated meters while Councilwoman Abby Covenant was less than amused of a 206 meters. McQueen inquired about how the changes for the water on the newly metered properties will be collected. Christian said that the units will be charged for their consumption. On Friday, there will be a meeting with members from the Hamlet Housing Authority. The next monthly city council meeting for Hamlet will take place at 6 p.m. on May 9th at Hamlet City Hall. The Richmond Observer will be hosting a combination book signing and art show tonight. Author B.J. Ray will be downstairs in the lobby of the Ink Space Building at 115 South Florence Street signing copies of her book Cloud People. According to a press release from the publisher, the book is an autobiographical account of surviving abuse and neglect with names and other details altered for privacy and security. Ray was born in Spain, but her family moved back to North Carolina when she was six months old. She later moved out west and taught special education, but endured abuse from her husband. Last month, Ray held a book signing at LRB Springs Inn and Campground. Local artist Rob McAuliffe will have his work on display in the coffee shop area. Both Nana's Coffee Rocks and Carolina Scoop will be open for the event, which runs from 6 to 8 p.m. Another summer of American Legion baseball is right around the corner, the third year back for the local Post 49 program. After a successful campaign in 2022, head coach Chip Gordon expects Hamlet to continue to trend in the right direction over the next couple of months. The 49ers will hold a one-day tryout for the upcoming summer slate on Saturday, May 13th at Memorial Park beginning at 11 a.m. Open to players from Richmond, Anson, Marlboro, Moore, and Scotland counties, players who are rising high school freshmen through the age of 19 are eligible to play. If a player turns 20 at any time this year, even after the season, he isn't permitted to play per American Legion's rules. Gordon said the pro-style tryout will be mandatory for all players interested. If a player is still in the high school playoffs, he must attend to earn a roster spot but won't be asked to participate. Post 49 went 14-10 overall in 2022, 11 wins better than its first season back after a 14-year hiatus. Hamlet earned the number two seed in the Area 2 conference standings and made the second round of the playoffs. Post 49 will also have a new look as this season's uniforms will mimic the original ones worn by the first Hamlet teams. White pinstripes will be worn at home, solid grays will be road jerseys, and the team will have a navy blue alternate. When we return, we've got your live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. 
Hey, welcome to your Life by Weatherport Scotty. Hope you are having a terrific Thursday. It has been a dreary day as far as the clouds are concerned. Not a lot of rainfall today, however, as we've been seeing uh, re relatively dry conditions for the most part. Uh, but we are expecting to see chances of rain co uh, coming up in the next couple of hours, about a 70% chance for the rest of the evening. 6 o'clock next hour will be 68 degrees, 9 o'clock 64, and 11 will be 62. We'll have an 8.01 p.m. sunset and a first quarter moon phase out at night. Neither of which you'll be able to see due to all of that cloud coverage. Now tomorrow it is expecting to be a messy Friday. Thunderstorms rolling in, not just showers, but thunder and lightning as well. And we're going to be seeing temperatures hanging out in the low 80s, high 70s for the high, and 60s across the board for uh, the lows. Carmelin County, a high of 60 and a low of 61, or excuse me, a high of 80 and a low of 61. Same for Hope County. Robeson will be seeing a high of 80 and a low of 62, with Scotland County at a high of 80 and a low of 61. Up in Moore County, a high of 79, low of 60, with Richmond County here seeing a high of 80 and a low of 61. Same low for Anson, but a high of 79, and down in Marlboro County, a high of 80 and a low of 62. Now we are looking at an 80% chance of showers tomorrow, thunderstorm showers I should say, uh, high of 80, low of 61 for Friday. Saturday looking to be pretty nice still, high of 82, low of 58 with party quiet weather. And then we're going to get into 90% chances of rain on Sunday with a high of 73 and a low of 61. On Monday, we're looking at sunny skies with a high of 68 and a low of 49. Party cloud weather on Tuesday, we have high of 68 and a low of 49. We'll continue to see high 60s for Wednesday with a high of 68 and a low of 47. And just back into the 70s again on Thursday with sunny skies at a high of 70 and a low of 46. So, uh, yeah, lots of rainfall coming up ahead, especially tomorrow. Could be a pretty uh, crazy day tomorrow with how thunderstorms will may end up rolling in. Of course, when you got thunder and lightning involved, uh, that definitely changes out how you might want to uh, traverse uh, the weekend. So if you got plans uh, for the weekend, definitely recommend you put them all on Saturday where it is expected to at least stay dry for the most part. I'll probably uh, be outside myself for Saturday and going to be avoiding Sunday at all costs. But that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5 for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County. You can always visit RichmondObserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond